All right, guys, it's time for a quick Peak recap. First of all, Peak was arrested for climbing the Woolworth Building in New York City. So he gets arrested, he's climbing up to the building, police stop him, he goes to court. The court says you have two options. One, you can go to jail. Or two, you can poof, disappear. Now, if he comes back and causes trouble, he's gonna get arrested again and he'll go to jail. But if he stays out of trouble, gets out of town, um, he won't be in trouble. So he goes and lives with his dad, Josh. And his plan is to go and just live in um, Thailand with his dad. Now, what he doesn't know is his dad already has plans. His dad owns a, an expedition company called Peak Expeditions. And his dad's company is, they plan these expeditions and these missions to climb up mountains, especially Mount Everest. So his dad has a plan. Peak is 14 years old. If Peak climbs up to the top of Mount Everest, he will be the youngest person to ever climb up the top of the mountain. His dad knows that if he gets Peak up to the top of the mountain, his dad is gonna get a lot of money because a lot of people are gonna wanna come and climb mountains with his company because they were able to get the youngest person ever on top of the mountain. Now, they are traveling with some other people. So first off, we've got Peak. Josh is Peak's dad. You also have this guy over here, Rolf is Peak's stepdad. Now at first, Peak doesn't like Rolf that much, but he's starting to grow on him and he's starting to realize that Rolf really does care about him and Josh, not so much. Josh is kind of selfish like that. And he's also traveling with a kid named Sunho. Sunho is also 14 years old, but he is slightly older. So if Peak and Sunho both make it to the top of the mountain, Peak will be the youngest by a couple of weeks or a couple of days. So Sunho's dad's name is Qatar. Now you may not have gotten to this part yet, but Qatar, Sunho's dad, saved Josh's life. That's why Josh is helping Sunho, because Josh owes Sunho's dad. Sunho's grandpa is Zopa. Zopa, remember, is that wise Yoda-like guy. He's a monk. Um, he's Zopa or Sunho's grandpa, and he just knows everything. He's the one who predicts anything on the mountain that happens. He knows it's going to happen before it happens. He knows when bad weather is going to hit. He even knows things better than the 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 weatherman and the weather predictions. So all of this is going on. So as of right now, Josh is gonna help Pete get up to the top and Sunho's going with him. Now, another piece to the story, you've got Holly Angelo and a film crew and they are there to tell the story of Peak climbing up Mount Everest. And so they're filming to try to showcase and create a documentary about this whole excursion, okay? So they're all up on the mountain and they're all trying to plan the best way to get up to the top. Now the climbers don't like this idea. Most of them don't know it yet, but if they were to find out, they would be really mad because they paid a lot of money for to climb up the mountain, only to have this kid come out of nowhere and climb with them? No, they're not happy with that, okay? So, a couple of other things you need to know. One, the whole purpose of this book is Peek is writing it down in this journal. His English teacher said, if you write this story down, you will get an A in English class. So that's what Peek is doing. He's writing in these moleskin notebooks his story about what's going on climbing up Mount Everest. Okay. Second recall I was going to tell you about it goes by the name of Captain Sheck. Captain Sheck is a soldier and his job is to make sure that everybody who climbs Mount Everest is doing the right thing. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Okay. So you got this Captain Sheck guy and he takes his job way too seriously and he loves to kick people off the mountain. And so he likes to sneak into the camp and he's causing all kinds of trouble. At one point he even arrests Zopa. Now that doesn't go over very well. Every porter in the, the camp, every Sherpa, everybody loves Zopa and they freak out when this happens. Okay, so that's a quick recap of where we're at on the mountain. Sunho and Zopa, Sunho and Peak are both trying to make it up to the top of Mount Everest without dying or without getting hape, which is a problem with your breathing. Now they're going to climb up to the different camps. 
So let me do a quick synopsis of that. So you've got ABC, which is Advanced Base Camp. Well, first you have Base Camp, then you have ABC. Another camp we've seen is Camp 4, Camp 5, Camp 6, and the Summit. Okay. So these are some of the different camps. Each one is a little bit higher up on the mountain. So they go from base camp to ABC and then back down. Then they go from base camp to ABC to camp four and then back down, all to get their lungs used to going up the mountain. Then they go from base camp, ABC, camp four, and you'll see every time they go up a little bit higher, their lungs get a little bit better. So that's a recap of where we're at on the mountain. Do you think they're gonna survive? Is Pete gonna die? Is Sun Ho gonna get eaten by a yak? Probably not, but now you know where we're coming from. Now you know what's going on in the story. Hopefully you've got those characters all straightened out. That's all I've got for this video, this quick peek recap. Until next time, book it forward and be awesome. Bye guys.